previously on Danganronpa V3. Suichi, you're familiar as a Cinnabon! What? A Cinnabon? What, what is that? What does it do? Nothing! It just sits there and smells good! And tastes delicious! <laughs> she starts gnawing on, on Suichi's arm. Ah! Oh, sorry. And now back to a new killing game. Hello! be Back with some more Danganronpa V3. When he last left off, uh, Shuichi came out of his shell a little bit and he took his hat off and revealed a big old Ahoge, which, of course, that's where he was hiding his protagonist the whole time. Uh, it all makes so much sense now. And we also received a number of uh, items that we've used to unlock the parts of the school, which have uncovered a few new laboratories as well as a swimming pool. Uh, one of which I'm sure is going to be involved in the next murder case. Actually, they're probably all gonna be involved in some way, right? Like the weapons from uh, Himiko's one, or and maybe the bugs or something from Gonta's. I don't know. Just like, like a little bit, a little bit of the everything. I'm just betting that pool will definitely come into play somehow, because we we talked so long about how deep and wide it was, and the fact that it doesn't ha isn't filled up with too much water. But anyway, you guys told me some stuff. Uh, one thing you told me apparently it is of the utmost importance that I get the love key as soon as I can. So I spent a long ass time grinding in the casino, just. Playing the slot machine again and again and again and again. Um, one thing I did notice from playing the slot machine is that uh, you pretty much will always make back more than what you spent. Like it, it just it takes a while, but you're almost guaranteed to get a profit. It seems like like as long as you have a, a good starting amount, I don't think it's very likely you're just gonna run out of coins. But I, I did it for like an hour while I was watching a <laughs> watching some videos online. I just kept hitting triangle, and uh, eventually amassed ten thousand coins. It took a while though. Um, and I bought it, so, uh, yeah, so I'll be ready to go whenever, uh, whatever that, that pops up. Um, also, uh, um, I did the Mono Mono Machine, I only did it, I only got one other item, but now, it seems that, uh, it, no matter what I do, it's always gonna be a 100%, uh, repeat rate, so, it seems, it seems, from what I can tell, that I've gotten everything that I can get from that, um, from the Mono Mono Machine, but I'm only at 63%, I mean, I know there's the the key items I get from the main story, and also the ones I get from the casino, but there still seems to be a lot missing. I, I, do new ones get added over time? Or to the mono, mono machine, maybe? I, I, I'm not really sure. But anyway, I actually only got one item that I didn't show on screen me getting, and, and that was this. Robot oil. And oil that's necessary to have when making robots. It is start to separate so the top half is diluted please be sure to shake before use yeah that's gotta be something that uh kibo would like but yeah it's like let me look at this there's so many there's only 63 percent of them i mean i know that the one anything after this is going to be key items like what is it we're like where do i get all the other stuff i i mean there weren't that many uh uh items in the casino including the ones that i can't buy yet I, I don't know. Maybe maybe they'll add stuff to the mono mono machines that go along. But but anyway, uh, Angie told us to go to the gym. She I figured something out with the flashlight, I guess. That's what she said. Not really sure what this is about though. Um, let's see, is there anyone in here? I want to make sure I like I don't miss any chances to to talk to anybody. Yep. Uh, Tank is here, and oh, Maki's still upstairs. <laughs> she's still she's still up there guarding her little uh her own lab. <laughs> she really doesn't want anyone going in there. It makes me even more curious. I'm wondering oh, there you are. I'm wondering if there's like like somehow the the child caregiver is like it's not what we think it is or something. Like it's not I, I don't know. That's I'm trying to think of what reason she would not let us in there. And now she doesn't seem to oh Jesus doesn't seem to be very, you know, for someone who's supposed to be, uh, take care of children, doesn't seem very friendly. Uh, <laughs> What's wrong, Tenko? And she said we should meet at the gym. Yes! Yeah, I'm, I know, but I can't stop thinking about the pool! <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. uh, oh, jeez, stop! Tenko, stop with the fucking fish eyes! <sighs> I wish I could swim. Especially when the pool of my dreams is right in front of me! That's it! I mean, I think there's a shallow end you could probably go in. Oh wait, you can't you can't swim, but maybe you can feel like a celebrity if you're relaxed by the pool. What? Huh? What's this degenerate male even talking about? Are you talking about me getting my bikini and showing you my big massive boobs? God, degenerate males and their fucking dicks! I swear! No. <laughs> no, I, I don't think it's such a bad idea. See, so take a parasol and if you put it up by the pool and relax in the shade, you'll feel glamorous for sure. What? 
What? What? Wow! That's a great idea! That didn't even cross my mind! Well then, Shuichi, please set the parasol up for me! Oh! 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 That's right, I had that one item that was like, happy day, sunny day parasol or something. Oh, okay, good, we got another bonus scene. <laughs> All right, fine. That's right. Oh boy, I think we actually might begin some fan service. I mean, what other, what, uh, what else could it be, right? When have you rubbed me down with sunscreen? Or I'm gonna be in some sexy, skippy bikini. We all know I got the boobs for it. Yes, degenerate males should definitely know their place. Okay then, see you later. <laughs> okay, bye. Well, I suppose it's not too much trouble. <laughs> Oh god, what what am I getting myself into? Can I go upstairs? Ah, oh, damn it. I want to see what happened if I try to sneak into the uh, Maki's lab. Even though she's probably still standing right next to it. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I was hiding in the bushes over there. If you're gonna get away with that shit, you better guess again, boy. Okay, Angie, give us the deets. Oh, wow, Maki, you got here Everyone. fast. <laughs> were, were you just upstairs? Everyone gather round. Prayer time. We all here? Good. Then let's bow our heads and pray to a tour. Bitch. <laughs> You're a real pain in the ass, you know that? Just tell us what you fucking want, yes, slut. Alrighty then, check this out. What's the matter? Th that is a peculiar looking flashlight. So what of it? Uh, um, I don't know what it is either. I expected it pretty good. <laughs> but in the end, I couldn't figure out. Figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just came us came here to tell us you failed. Huh? You, you couldn't? How divine! Ah, so I wanted to ask someone for help. Could it be? But first, flash myself. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Look at you, just this. You, you don't mean? Oh! Oh! Hello! Did someone say my name? Cool. No. Well, I'm here anyway. It's like, has you worry? Just let Monokuma take care of it. What, you want me to tell you all the big twists at the end of this game? Sure, I'll do it! No one's ever taken the time to just ask me! I'll just spoil them right here in Chapter 2! If you don't know something, I'll tell you! If you need help, I'll help you! No Unless I'm just escaping here! If you don't like something, I'll fix it! So don't get rid of it! Please don't get rid of me! Boys, I'm a useful senpai! Don't throw me out with the garbage! Very bad when Lady who acted like that preys on you. What? <laughs> Huh? Do you know that from personal experience? Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo! Tell us, Monokuma, what is this flashlight? Yeah? Why, that's a flashback light! <laughs> what? I hear you say! Oh. Nico? <laughs> yes? A flashback light. Huh? A flashback? My mom. Light? <laughs> hey, um... Okay, calm down, little squirrel girl. My flashlight doesn't shed light on darkness! It sheds light on your lost memories! Hey. Lost memories. Oh! Oh, this is starting to remind me a bit of... Was, was that actually case two of Danganronpa 2? Also, we were talking about the whole thing with Kuzuru and... And Peko and his crazy-ass sister. You guys seem concerned that you couldn't remember how you came to the school! But if you used that flashlight, you could remember everything! I mean, flashback light! Oh, I'm sorry. I was talking about something else. Not that I have one or anything. Shut up, Baka! What? With, the, with this light? So it's your, your fault we don't remember when we were kidnapped, huh? May I? What did you do to us? And how did you steal our memories away? And another... Oh, you know, Juko anime shit. Hmm, maybe if we use the flashback light, you'll be able to remember that too! This is stupid. I don't believe it. No way this flashlight will recover our memories. Yeah, yeah! I bet there were a lot of naysayers and skeptics when the telephone was invented too. Hey, um... But fuck those guys, they're all dead! Now, for your information, the flashback light can treat various symptoms of memory loss. Or make it worse, uh, one or the other. The light it emits stimulates the basal ganglia of the hippocampus. Not just that, but physical. Oh, I didn't realize how boring it would be to explain. But basically, it works like that. Alright, bye! Hey. That's been science theater with Monokuma! Hey, don't just give up on explaining it after a single sentence. What should we do? So, what should we do? What should we do? You mean, should we... Or should we not use the flashlight? No. No way! I refuse! It reeks of fishiness! And degenerate maleness! Hmm. Yeah, Goto no can believe flashlight bring back memory. Well... Well, why not ask someone who knows machines? We've got the ultimate inventor right here. Ah. And we also have the ultimate machine right here. <laughs> You're all a bunch of ultimate dumbasses! No fucking way to think of treat amnesia! Again! 
It's not exactly normal circumstances. Well. How do you explain him summoning that giant grand piano to kill Kanye with? So, in such an uncanny environment as this, common sense has no place. Uh... I hope I hope we're not in VR again. <laughs> Maybe it's all a dream. Well, I mean, there are this neuroli neuro neuro neuralizer things, the flashy things from Men in Black. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, look at us referencing real life stuff again. Why are you talking about a movie? This is real life. I guess. <laughs> real life. Get it right, Sumugi. Hey, you're right. Sorry. I don't like that. I, I don't like that. I, I don't think we should do it. I'm scared of my custom weird side effects. Like somehow it would change me into a normal, balanced human being. <sighs> ah. I'm worried how it would affect my magic. All of you. I love magic. Has everyone spoken? If we're in accord, I will consent as well. Then. What about you, Suichi? You have not said anything. Huh? What? Uh. uh... All right. All right then. It's decided. Let's use it. <laughs> huh? Who decided that? We're all saying how dangerous it sounds. <laughs> me first. Me first. <laughs> These guys are way, way too cautious. I mean, I understand why. We're in such a weird situation after all. But you know. But we can't win by just running away all the time. Listen what? Up. <laughs> if you want to win, you gotta be be a little reckless sometimes. If you can't face this danger. There's no way we'll be able to defeat Monokuma. <laughs> well, aren't you confident? But you've no idea how we're supposed to win, do you? Ah. Yeah, I got no clue. But still. Let's do it. If you want to win, you gotta make a stand somewhere, or you'll never move forward. If we run away, our kids will grow up to be the kind of people who run away from things like this. I don't understand. Huh? What are you talking about? You know... If you still want to run away, then go ahead. I won't stop you or blame you. Okay. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's go. Get your ass back here. Huh? What's wrong, everyone? Are we going? Um... I I'm staying. Listen up. After hearing that degenerate speech, running away would just frustrate me. You know, I, I have a feeling this is going to backfire. Like... This is giving me real Don Ropa 2 vibes. Like, we're gonna. Or no! It, uh, yeah, it was the case three, where uh, Sumiki remembered stuff, remember? <laughs> you remember? <laughs> she remembered that she was ultimate despair and went fucking crazy. Went on a fucking murder rampage. I feel like this is going down that road again. Hmm. Got to also stay, is what true gentlemen would probably do. 100%. I also agree with Kaito. Our defeat is 100%, assured un unless we stand up to this. That's how I feel deep inside. Just a whisper. <laughs> you hear it in your ghost? I'm pretty sure robots have ghosts, though. That is not funny. <laughs> Leave me alone. I hope you die next. I shall stay as well. I suspect I'll be able to observe something most interesting. On your knees. On your knees and suck my dick. If anything happens to me, you'll better pack my fans. The world of many forgiveness. Hey. Everybody loves me my big old titties. So what are you going to do, Soishi? Uh, okay. I I'll stay behind, too. Got it. All right. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just letting everyone else still come in. I'll stay too. So what if it might cause some weird side effects? It's no big deal. Who gives a shit? It seems, as if. it seems everyone agrees with Kaito. Very well. I shall follow suit. <laughs> huh. Now it's decided. Hurry up and do it. Woohoo! <laughs> then I'm going to turn it on. Oh, is it going to just like affect all of us at once? Yeah. Yeah, please. Click. Click. Uh, at the moment, Angie flicked on the light. The world warped. Oh. Ah! oh, it's like what happened at the beginning of the game. Oh, I remember I'm still Suichi. I'm like bald in my mind, shattered, my consciousness like shrapnel. Like a video and fast forward, scenes played out in the back of my head. When the pieces of my psyche had gathered together again. Oh my god! Ah, 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 whoa! Oh my god, I made that expression before. I remember where I put the ketchup! I remember now. Oh. I was running away. I've been running this entire time from the ultimate hunt. The, oh yeah, that's right. That's what Rentaro brought up. Those of us with ultimate talents were hunted down. I wasn't safe anywhere. Eventually, I had no place else to run. I was cornered to escape from the ultimate hunt. So, like, a hunt for for ultimates, essentially? They're, they're hunting down and killing them? I threw away my ultimate talent to live as a normal high school student. 
Oh, okay. Threw it away as in try to forget about it, or is that how we're trying to explain away the intro, perhaps? By, oh yeah, by, by erasing my talent and my memories, I no longer had any reason to be hunted. If I didn't do what I did, it would have been, I would have been captured. A fate worse than death. Oh, okay, that explains the intro then. So they erase their own memories and hit out here but to pretend to be normal students. So the beginning, okay, so the beginning was us just regaining those memories. So we does seem, at least based on what we're hearing here, that we are those ultimate students. And so I chose. I chose to gamble on new technology developed at a particular facility. I remember we saw glimpses of the, this in Kaide too, where she was wearing the helmet as well. Technology that could put your memories to sleep by controlling your brainwaves. I used that to hibernate all memories relating to my talent. That's it! Yes! I remember everything now! In order to escape the ultimate hunt, I erased my own memory. Hold up. What? Wait. Did you say ultimate hot? Huh? Huh? Really? You, you guys too? So was just me getting chased down this ultimate hunt? I do not agree. Yes. You were not the only one. I, no. We were being chased as well. Oh, interesting. We looked ar around at one another, and each of us with the same shocked expression. Well, Kokichi looked more excited than anybody, but fuck him. What Kurumi said was true. We were all the same. We were all running from the ultimate hunt. Ooh, do we know what it is? I mean, why it happened? All of us are being chased by the ultimate hunt. What on earth does that mean? Um... Oh, wait! Can someone tell me what that is? I can't seem to remember. Uh, what is the ultimate hunt? Jeez. Jeez, how can you forget something so important? All right, guys, the ultimate hunt is. What? Huh? huh? What, what was it? I can't remember. Uh, um... I can't either. I just remembered the name, but not what it was. Hmm, that makes me wonder, then, how did Rintaro know what it was, right? He was the only one who seemed to know or mention the ultimate hunt. Could it be that maybe he had some resistance to, like, getting his memory erased? Unlike everybody else, like maybe so maybe he's like he's like the ultimate mentalist or something, you know. I suddenly realized I could not remember any important details of the ultimate hunt. But how? It's no use. I can't remember either. I can only remember being chased. I can't remember anything else at all. Yeah, no matter how hard I try, I can't seem to remember. Unless these are fake memories too. I I don't know. I don't want to live. I want to die with everyone else. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. Ah! What, what was that? I want to die with everyone else? Oh, no. Am I really Izuru and I don't realize it? We're all Izuru. I remember saying that. Why did I say that? Uh, um, it's no use. I can't remember either. God damn it. Ah, this fits gross. Like shit that won't fully squeeze out. Ah, there we go. If we can't remember, we should still be able to figure something out. Huh? Hmm? What you mean? <laughs> We're all running from the ultimate hunt. Then why are we imprisoned here? Why? Huh? Why? Could it be? Could the reason be that we were caught by the caught by the ultimate hunt? Caught by the ultimate hunt? Um. You mean we we tried to escape by erasing our memories, but they found us anyway, and subsequently we were captured as part of this ultimate hunt. You know. Then this killing game is. Yeah. Yeah. Might be the work of the ultimate hunt. Let's see. Maybe, I don't know if this, like, connected in any way to previous events, but if it is, then would it be, like, because of what Monokuma did, or the, all the shit that keeps happening to these ultimate students, we've learned that ultimates are just nothing, bring nothing but despairs? So we had to decide to go and slay them all? If that is so, then I'm all the more concerned about this ultimate hunt. But, but... But, but, how disappointing. No one can remember anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a disappointing disappointment. Piece of shit. Piece of shit! What laughing about, you little shit! It seems as if... It seems losing him made a far bigger impact. Pip impact than we expected. Huh? Him? Yes. Rintaro. He seemed to know more than he let on. Yeah. Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... Does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? Oh, oh I do start to remember him saying something like that. Hmm. Hmm, our mild-mannered mystery man said that, huh? <laughs> Ooh. But... But then, why did only Ritar remember the ultimate hunt? Listen. There is no point discussing that now. 
After all, he is already dead. Avocados cannot come back to life. But if you truly wish to hear his words, I can perform a seance for you. <laughs> Don't screw around! Stop it! Don't wake up your weird stuff like that. Why you acting all girly all of a sudden? Hello! Dad. Yep, that can be real heartless! Why you? And nobody's! And man sex! Says the root of all evil. <laughs> oh, 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 looks like you guys simply got your memory back! What's going on, you stupid ass bear? Salesman Hunt makes no goddamn sense! Yeah. Looks like your sealed memories are more stubborn than I thought! Just wonder you said the flashback light wasn't enough to restore all your memories! You got me! You're such a terrible liar. You totally did that on purpose. Well. <laughs> interesting. Okay, so he, it is interesting. Kokichi can tell when other people are lying because he's such a good liar himself. What connection do you have with the ultimate hunt? <laughs> oh, I can't reveal that! A total chapter, I don't know, whatever the end of this game is! Regardless of my true identity, my goal is crystal clear! Ooh. And that is to make you guys participate in the killing game! That is my only desire! Bye bye! That's all I've been created for! The killing game. That's what, that's what it always comes back to. You gotta be kidding me! What? Killing game? I'll never do that ever again! That's right. Just gotta work together. We we'll cooperate, we'll make it we'll make it out of here alive. <laughs> Just like a certain someone said. But oh, by the way, you guys told me I should investigate uh, Kaidi's room when I get the chance. Uh, apparently, if you investigate the room of the person who's died, you get a little bit of fluff text. I actually think I remember that happening in previous games, too. But I believe cooperating with each other is the most logical course of action. Uh, uh, I'm snoring. Hi. Why are you sleeping? Whoa. Why are you so mean to me in particular? <laughs> well, how what? Jeez. Sorry, I was playing a Chucky there. Hey, Kokichi, we're having a serious conversation here. And is it written somewhere that I have to take serious conversations seriously? <laughs> what acting so immature? Mm -hmm. Huh? I'm a teenager, so dumb immature. Are you guys forgetting to act your age? What is it? But I don't have a biological age. Ah. Don't worry about Akiba. I'm just talking about the humans right now. Yeah. <laughs> so? What were we talking about again? Something about working together to escape, right? What, do you want to go do that dumb minigame again? Eight million times? So you were listening, you horrible degenerate! See? We don't have to work together, though. Just ask how we can get, a get out. We asked Matakuma, he'll say the only way to is to win the killing game. We really don't get it. Oh, we're not going to ask Matakuma. We're going to ask the mastermind among us. Huh? What? Why, you? Are you already going see now? Thought we already agree there's, there is no mastermind. Mm. Mm, oh, yeah, we did, didn't we? If we try to sniff out a mastermind again, and we just repeat Kaede's screw up. You, you? You better quit messing around. Huh? Eh? I think I'm messing around right now. Oh, man. Oh, man. You really don't get it. I'm trying to get this through to everyone. If you keep saying all this uplifting stuff about working together and cooperating, <laughs> then you could expect to receive some painful retaliation. Got it. Get Wait. it? What are you suggesting, Gukichi? That's enough! Ah, it's enough. I'm gonna slug him! Whoa! Uh, ah, he's gonna punch me! I'm gonna make a break for it! Ah! <laughs> Gukichi said his piece and then dashed as fast as he could out of the room. I'm just a big pussy in the end! Ah! <laughs> Damn, he's fast! Sheesh. Jeez, what a strange guy. Jeez. He just provokes people and never says anything from the heart. He always. He's always messing around and making fun of those around him. Huh. Huh. How can he say such insensitive things when we're trying so hard to survive? <laughs> it's like he doesn't even want to survive. Well, I guess I'm I'm no different. Huh? What? In other words. Yeah. I don't plan to survive till the end. I'm not going back to prison. Uh, other prison. At least this place has decent food. Well, edible food. Ryoma. And it's um... got a pool. You not plan to survive? What'd that be? That is... He has mentioned that before, that he has no reason to live. Mm -hmm. Eh? He doesn't have a reason to live? What? Poor Ryoma. Seems he's gone more tragic past than we could even begin to imagine. I mean... Yeah, but the ultimate tennis pro shouldn't be saying such cowardly stuff. What do you think? Perhaps we should relax over a meal. Everyone, could you please tell me your favorite foods and beverages? Huh? Huh? You're going to whip something up? Kurumi, are you like the perfect mom? Perfect Bobby! If I finish the meal, the uh, the crew you prepare for us, we decide to return our, to our rooms. All right, is it time for, for some free time? Maybe. There are hidden Monokumas around the Ultimate Academy. Make sure, maybe you've already seen one or five or seven. 
and you collect hidden monokumas by investigating them. Your collection will be displayed on the shelf in this room, so get busy filling it! They're fun to look for when you want to take a little break from everything. You know, all the feels! That's right, Tinko asked me to set up a parasol. I feel like she's gonna throw me if I don't if I don't get it ready. Oh, let's do it. Okay, we're doing it now then. Alright, I'm feeling fan service coming. Alright, do I have my man's nut? Yep. Got my Hajime? Yep. Alright, let's do this. What's this? Something at the pool. Uh, um... A beach chair and a table? Were these in the warehouse? The parasol, this would definitely look like a celebrity's private pool. But who paired all this? Did Tenko do it herself? Oh! Hi, Kurumi. You are late, Shuichi. Huh? Uh, Kurumi? What do you think? Did you bring the parasol? Hmm. I, I did, but... Wait, how did you know about that, Kurumi? Yes. Tenko informed me of her desire to feel like a celebrity at the pool. So I made some preparations. <laughs> ah, I see. That is correct. I have placed tropical beverages and fruit fruits in the fr refrigerator. If you start to feel cold, I have prepared warm meals, which I can reheat over the stove. Oh my god, you are so awesome. <laughs> I love you so demon much, Kurumi. <laughs> On the pool side, I prepared oil massages. Yes, of course. In the changing room, I prepared a, wa a variety of swimsuits to choose from. What do you think? Once the parasol's set, everything will be complete, whenever you are ready. Uh, okay. Uh, thanks? She did all that work? I felt kind of bad. Are we all gonna come out? I did ask Kurumi. Uh, I did ask Kurumi ass to set up the parasol, and people start to arrive at the pool. Oh, yep, here we go. Everybody's gonna show up. Yes, here it comes, guys. <laughs> hey, why are you guys still in your normal clothes? Kurumi, thank you so much for preparing everything. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Thanks for doing everything. Thank you. Thank you, Kurumi. Um, I am grateful for your care, Kurumi. Oh, goody! I get to put on my man thong. It seems as if. This is a more, this is more people than I have been told. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just want Himiko to feel like a celebrity too. And I want to see her in her bikini. Yoo-hoo. Can I join? Atua says he wants to feel like a celebrity too. Mm -hmm. If Atua wants to be a celebrity, then we might as well invite him too. Um. Just sure, if that's what you want, Himiko. <laughs> Gah, just want to vacation like a celebrity with Himiko. Would a god want to be a celebrity? Then I should begin preparing for everyone else. Will that include you as well? Huh? Uh. Me too? No. Oh, Suichi can't join! A standard male is only job is to help set this up! <laughs> Fuck you, Tenko! Ah, stop with that weird face! Then... What about Kibo? Yes! Kibo's a robot, so he's neither male nor female! He barely passes! Hmm. I cannot tell if that remark is robophobic or not. Uh, okay. At the very least, you're better off than I am. May I? Man, really? I gave you my parasol, Tenko! That cost me money! By the way, Kibo... What is it? Yes? Excuse me. In your case, would you prefer oil over tropical juice? Well... That won't be necessary. The offer alone is more than enough. I do not agree. Tiba, Kiba, Tenko requested I help her feel like a celebrity. And she has included you as one of her guests. In order to complete a request... I will... Oh! <laughs> I will do my utmost to fulfill her request, for that is how a maid must conduct herself. <laughs> tell me! So please tell me what food or beverages I can prepare so you feel like a celebrity. Such pride and dedication. Kurumi's prowess is made a showing. Ah! Her maid boner showing! Um, um, I do not require food, and I would not be able to taste it in the first place. Well, let's go change into our swimsuit, Shuichi. You know what will happen if you peep, right? Wait! You don't have to tell me. I'm not gonna peep. I'm not Hajime. Oh, yeah! Oh, but you're welcome to peep! I love an excuse to exterminate a degenerate! <laughs> what? What? Ah, <laughs> uh, fine. Oh! I guess you meant when you guys were changing, but you're fine. I mean, looking at the swimsuits. <laughs> like, Angie was essentially already prepared for this. She's in her bikini all the time. Holy mother of flapjacks, though. Tanko was definitely hiding some jellyfish under there. <laughs> I like how Kiba seems to be more uh, interested in the parasol than any of the girls. Wow, what, what material is this made from? I could use that to decorate the inside of my chest cavity. <sighs> my whole body feels like it's melting away. <laughs> Kiddo me! More tropical buns, please! Understood. I will also provide a fruit platter. <sighs> I'm so happy, Kirumi! You're making me feel like a pampered celebrity! Alright, good. Now lower! 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 Oh. Not low enough! Lower! Okay, now deeper! Okay, I really feel like I should be leaving now. My lifelong dream has finally come true! <laughs> there is no need to thank me. Your happiness is the reason I serve. What a pain. <laughs> Relaxation's a pain! 
You're relaxing right now. What exactly is the pain? Out of curiosity, do you really need that parasol even though we're indoors? Yeah, I was wondering that too. Of course. If you want to feel like a celebrity, you absolutely need a parasol. A robot like you wouldn't understand what it means to feel like a celebrity. Huh, Kibo? This is a difficult feeling to understand. <laughs> Tinker, why do you give me such a bitch? <laughs> Dude, all the shit for you. Well, well, at least I got some good side boob. After attending to celebrities, I return to my room. I leveled up, yes! Good, that moment of fan service made me stronger. Anyway, what is the ultimate hunt? It's still bothering me. And why did Rintara know? I suppose I won't get anywhere thinking about it myself. Time for action. All right. Still some time left today. Need to think of a plan. My plan is to dick around. All right. Let's go. Look for some more Monokumas. And also, let's, uh, all right. First, let's investigate, uh, uh, Kade's room. Kade, I wanted to hear you play the piano. In just one time. But I'll never be able to. Oh, that's, yeah. Why did you guys make me do that? No! I'm just gonna float my way across this patio. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah. I just like to imagine Shuichi's like on a little segue, just going, whoa, whoa. Hey, look, Kata, look what I can do. Whoa, 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 whoa. I lied to you all. I was actually the ultimate segwayer. Ah! Ah, explains how I go so bloody fast. Yep, there's a plot reason for everything. What do I have to say about Yusuke Ninja Statue? Statue of Ninja Boy, is there something like this here? I'm sure you'll play into something at some point. Can I go in her lab? Is that possible? Oh, yeah, I can. Here we go. Oh, here we go. I haven't been in here. Oh, I see a Monokuma doll, too. I see you, motherfucker. You could hide from me in the back. Now, vision! Come on. Hey! Hey! Did I smack you? Get out of my way! That's it. Oh, you found me! I, mean, I, used to, I used to say that in Dime Europa 2 when you got stuff. Oh, yeah, that's right. I almost, I almost forgot I got smack shit. Ah, I've inherited Kade's monkey paw. Ah. <laughs> oh, man. Why did Miyu just come running in here? What the hell are you doing? No! No! I spent months working on that! No! Ah, ah, was that an electric guitar? Ah. It's a bed in the middle of the room. Feels like an opportunity will table where a mad scientist is performing human experiments. Give me those coins! I don't know what I'm going to spin them on, because I seem to be... I've gotten everything in the Mono Mono machine. Okay, more importantly, the place I really need to go... Uh... Damn it, she's still there! Fuck! <laughs> still standing guard there! Ah, oh, motherfucker! <laughs> God damn it, Maki! Get out of my way, I want to go in! Ah. Forget what I told you. For a detective, your memory is awful. Don't come here again. Okay. Uh, sorry. Oh, interesting. Can I not hang out with her either? I can't. Ah, oh, interesting. All right, that's gonna. You're gonna have something to do with this this next case, I'm sure. Oh, look at this door. What is this? This door, or is it perhaps just art? So it's like it could be from a video game, which I'm totally not in right now. Okay, there should be one more Monokuma doll somewhere. Hmm. Huh? It's back to normal? Oh, the books. Did Monokuma clean everything up? If only to realize that Kari was acting strangely like Nico did. Maybe things wouldn't have ended this way. Damn it! Alright, I got time myself. Let's watch some porn. Maybe Kari said she wanted to watch Legend of 1900. I'll watch it one day. It's just too hard right now. Oh, hey. I got a little bit of fluff text there. Oh, yeah, I can finally go in the boys' bathroom. Monokuma dolls in here, though. But I can't smack shit! Die, urinals, die! Okay, I don't see the other Monokuma doll anywhere, which leads me to believe it's likely in Maki's room. Or some other place we haven't just haven't come across yet, but I've been pretty thorough. I really don't think I missed it anywhere. Okay, so you know what I think I'm gonna do? Now that I, I seem to be at least able to, at least hopefully, in theory, uh, uh, able to max out one of the, uh, a person, uh, I think I'm actually gonna do that, and I know that right, right in the game, in the game here, it's only gonna give me like probably two or three uh, chances to uh, to hang out with somebody. 
but I'm actually gonna, um, uh, you can actually s start the game from anywhere you want. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hang out with somebody a few times, then I'm gonna go and uh, choose to restart the free time event again, and then just do it again until they're maxed out. So uh, I think that's probably what I'll do for the remainder of this episode. So I just need to decide who I'm gonna do. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go for the dark horse here and pick someone I think none of you probably would expect I would pick. And that is Kokichi. Yep, I wanna learn more about this little shit. I wanna know exactly why he's such a lying asshole. I don't know, but it, it'll probably be pretty funny too. He is a piece of shit, but at least he's a funny piece of shit, you know? And in my opinion, that's the best kind of shit. So anyway, okay, he likes carbonated drinks and dislikes pig feet. <laughs> All right, dude. I, I do feel like we're probably not gonna learn too much about him because we're never gonna be able to tell whether he's telling the truth or lying, right? So, but hey, you know what? Could still be interesting. Might finally get to see, see a real part of him. Assuming he has one. All right, Kokichi. Let's learn a little more about you. Uh, hi, you scared me. For a second there, I thought you kind of had caught me. <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh, it's me, actually. Rip, rip my face off. It's kind of got you, little shit. Ah, oh, damn it. All right, let's hang out, Kokichi. Let's bond some. He's kind of still looking for me. Let's run away from him together. Okay, Shuichi, come on. <laughs> we just hold hands and start skipping. No, let, let go of me. For some reason, we ended up running away from Kaido together. <laughs> I'm not trying to beat you up, Shuichi. Well, not this time, at least. Yukichi and I grew a little closer today, I guess. Okay, I, I think, if I remember correctly, in previous games, I think the first one was always kind of a freebie, so... Let's see, can I... No, never mind. Okay, I do have to give him something. Okay. What am I gonna give you? Um, he said he likes carbonated drinks, right? So... I have a couple of drinks here. Uh... Non-alcoholic drink of immortality. So it grants more mortality, nor does it taste good. Uh, drink based on Cleopatra, ginger tea, hot water, warms the body and prevents colds. Tastes good with honey. A popular drink uh, with a bunch of tapioca balls at the bottom. The chewy tapioca balls are made from the root of a cassava plant. Oxidized Chinese tea. Uh, these carbon, I mean, these are all the drinks I have. I don't know if any of these are actually car carbonated though. Uh, you know, let's just go for it. Uh, I'll go with boba tea. Mm. This is a pretty decent present, Shuichi. Are you starting to get me now? <laughs> it feels good to know that you thought long and hard about what tribute to give me. <laughs> so you want to talk to me, eh? You must be pretty reckless, Shuichi. I'm the ultimate supreme leader, you know. <laughs> because. So you say, does that really mean anything? What is this organization you run? Oh? Huh? Didn't I tell you? I'm the supreme leader of an evil, evil, secret or evil organization. Hmm. Yes, you said that, but... Yeah. It's pretty impressive, too. It has over 10,000 members. But... You said that as well, but I can't think of any organization that fits that description. <laughs> huh? Didn't I tell you? I'm also a liar, too, you know. Okay. Yes, you mentioned it. It's true. But I'm telling the truth when I say I'm the supreme leader of a secret evil organization. Get dizzy talking to Kokichi. I feel like I forgot... Forget how words work. Um, My organization controls the entire world, but of course it's behind the scenes. All the world's mafia syndicates are under my command. Oh, they'll, get me into they'll get into turf wars if I don't control them, and that's just trouble for everyone. It's a pain, especially since peace is the best thing for the world. I don't think I can believe the words of the leader of an evil organization. Ah. Oh yeah, which is why I do the same thing with the government too. I control politicians with blackmail. I manipulate the stock market on a whim. I have subordinates all over the world. The White House, Kremlin, Beijing, Wall Street, London, and even the Tokyo Stock Exchange. You know. I make one phone call and the world changes. Let me know if you get bored with the world. That has to be a lie. How'd you rise to the top? Are your subordinates coming for you? Are your subordinates coming man. for you? Are your subordinates coming for you? Who knows? I'm a pretty dickish dictator. They're probably happy with their boss gone. Hmm. Uh, I see. I'm bad. Aw, you disappointed. Sorry. Evil organizations don't really need a leader. Hmm. They can function by themselves. Do you see the kind of hardship I have to go through now? <laughs> Shuichi. So, now that you know, know about us, Shuichi, you must die! Ah! <laughs> Good, I've been waiting to kill somebody. Wait. What? What? You told me. I didn't, I didn't even ask. You got me. Oh yeah, oopsie poopsie, I'm such a ditz. <laughs> then I'll let you live for now, since I messed up. But I'll kill you eventually. Uh, um, Are you serious? Yeah. Y yeah, for realsies. I hate lies. I hate lies and jokes. Just kidding, I lied again. 
Here's a hope. Here's a friendship fragment. <laughs> what am I just like carrying this around in my pocket? What? I'm such a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, well, at least it's at least it's amusing, right? It's he's still he's still funny in his own little douchey way. Turn my room. I'm mind, mind and body exhausted. Why am I so tired just from talking? He said he would kill me. Just lying, right? I'm gonna die by the end of this. Better get his underpants. It's the only way to save me. <laughs> Give me your underwear, Kokichi. <laughs> okay, well, if, if that's what you're into. All right. There's some, still some time left. Free time. All right. Where is he now? He seemed like you liked that. All right, I, I guess. I, I don't know if that's like what his favorite reaction would be. But it's good enough for me. You know what? There you are. I just got all wrong. I only have like a big guy, so guys don't get too soft, you know. All right, I, I I just thought after last time, I need me another helping of Kokichi. Come here. Shuichi. <laughs> Shuichi, you understand me? Ah, I'm so happy I'm right. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it, no. Sorry, I'm all out of Hajime, so you're, all, you're gonna have to do. I spent some time with Kokichi, even though I knew, knew those were fake tears. I I'm all better now. She and I grew a little closer, I guess. Hey, you want some more boba tea? Do I? Whoa, this is nice. I'm always wanting something like this. It's true. By the way, that's not a lie, Kay. Don't worry, I'm actually happy. <laughs> I, I think. So? So, what are you here for today? Did you come to beg for your well, life? Uh, are you serious about killing me? Yeah. Yep, of course. Since I'm the ultimate supreme leader, duh. I swore on my own title that I would protect my organization. That's why you must die. I can't tell if he's serious. Hey. Well, do it already. Get on the ground, beg like a dog. Get down and suck my feet. Oh, I want to see your, see you slit your stomach too. Come on, do it, pretty please. Wait. If I did that, I would die. Yeah. Psh, I get, guess I can trick you. Boring. All right. Okay, how about this? If you want to live, you got to beat me in a game. Uh -huh game yeah I didn't give you much of a choice but listen this is your chance to survive I accept what kind of game kill me was just a joke right <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying that all right I accept all right I accept oh, oh that was a quick decision <laughs> I didn't see that one coming <laughs> okay <laughs> ah how exciting very intriguing Shuichi keep it interesting for me okay all right did you gotta play a shadow game? It's time to. <laughs> oh my god! It's time to did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, Oh my god! I love that he did that. A uh, duel? Shadow game? Hmm. Yes, the loser soul will get sent to the shadow realm. All right. We each pull one card from this deck, and whoever has the largest number wins. It's just like Yu-Gi-Oh. Where did you get that? The cards from? You get it? It's my turn. I draw a card. <laughs> the power of the heart of heart of the cards is strong within me. <laughs> oh my god, he is just referencing Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> I drew the number seven. It is neither high nor low. The possibility of you winning drops to 50%. She's in an odd mood. What's going on? <laughs> and, and my turn. Now it's your turn. Draw your card. And unleash your attack. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, seven. Huh? What? What? How could this be? You drew the Monster Reborn card? <laughs> you truly are an amazing duelist, Shuichi. Ah, that was an amazing battle. You disregard the rules as almost as much as I do, and Kaido. You aim for a tie instead. You intrigue me. I wouldn't say I did that intentionally. But... If you had anything else, I would have stabbed the shit out of you. But this is the end for you. I'd only, I'd let you live only if you had beaten me. You only have three events left in your life, so you better entertain me until then. <laughs> <laughs> Three events? What three events? <laughs> the three events of hanging out with me. <laughs> am I breaking the shit out of that fourth wall? I think I am. Yep, three more health fragments. <laughs> Let's play again, Shuichi. Yay! Return to my room. Mind and body exhausted. Kichi, are you toying with me? Yeah, I guess it isn't that boring. You have pretty good taste, Shuichi. Well, nice is mine. I'll surprise you with a gift one of these days, Shuichi. Nah, I'm just kidding. Hey. Oh, good. Look, I finally got to a third one. <laughs> ah, I feel so good after trying to make sweet love with Shuichi with Kata earlier. Kichi, are we going to play more games today? Shuichi. Hey, Shuichi, let's have a tea party today. I can, we can use all the tea you've been giving me. <laughs> what? A tea party? Hey, can we do it? Pretty please. 
Well, we're gonna do it, so let's go to the dining Wait. hall. Wait! Wait, Kokichi! Come on! <laughs> Run with me, Shuichi! You're not ready! <laughs> this is pleasant. I feel like my soul is coming back to my body. Okay. Okay. By the way, my organization requires everyone to have an afternoon break. It increases productivity. Ah, oh, that sounds like a rather peaceful organization. Yeah. Yep, the Supreme Leader, <laughs> me, is a pacifist. That's why I settle fights with games. By the way, everyone who lost to me should be working hard in Siberia right now. Siberia? <laughs> well, if they're even alive, they're probably dead. Who gives a shit? If they're alive? But... Don't worry, Shuichi. You'll be in heaven rather than Siberia. No. I would prefer not to be. Mm, well... Okay. How about you just join my organization? If you were a member, there'd be no problem. You're a pretty interesting guy, so I think joining might be good for you. I'm gonna decline. What's your game, Kukichi? The organization is a lie, isn't it? I'm gonna have to decline. No. I'm gonna have to decline. Oh. What? I think you want to live, Shuichi. True, but... I do. But I could never join some nefarious organization. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's true. That's sort of disappointing. If someone like you join, I would never get bored. You just hang out and play games all day. Oh. Is that it? Oh. All right. So, I think I'm gonna head out. By the way, are you sure it was okay to waste this event without playing a game? Huh? Uh, <laughs> he is! He's breaking the fuck out of the fourth wall! Uh, huh? Because? Now there's one less chance for you to survive, you know. I already told you that you only have three events left. You seem pretty relaxed. Wait, wait a minute. You're the one who said we, sh we should drink tea today. Uh, so you're blaming me? Yeah, sure, whatever. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, when I give you my underwear, they're gonna have, di they're gonna have sticks of dynamite attached to them. Huh? <laughs> right there, Shuichi. That's the face I wanted to see. I'm the supreme leader of evil. I crush people's hopes and dreams. All right. Now since I took my snack break, I should be able to work hard today. <laughs> Here you go. I leveled up. Hey. Shook off Kukiji's cheeky laughter and returned to my room. Why am I doing this to myself? Seriously, I, I've got to have a fucking death wish to be doing this. All right, it's my last boba tea. I'm going to come up with something else after this. Hey, Shuichi, let's have a proper battle today. So how about we play a game called The Burning Apology? What? The Burning Apology? Yeah. Yep, beg me not to kill you while you're kneeling on a burning hot metal plate. If you really want to live, then I know you can do it. Wait. I, I can't do that. I would die. That doesn't sound like a game. Oh. Huh, so you figured it out? Huh? Of course I figured that out. Um, huh, then how about the steel beam walk? Uh, um, steel beam walk? You walk across a thin steel beam and make it to the end without falling. Then you win. Hmm. Oh, that sounds all right. Um, By the way, the beam is placed between two buildings. There's also electricity involved. Um, and of course, you plan on crossing it as well. Yeah. Of course, I'm gonna cross it. I'm pretty confident when it when it comes to balancing. But you have to go first. That's <laughs> a lie. But that's a lie. So no, I won't go. Just put a lot of effort into messing with me. Um, are you learning? Are you learning important things about me, Suichi? Are you? Proud of your life decisions? Are you glad you decided to pick me for your to be the first person to max out? Is there something else we can do? I want a game of life or death. All right. Kichi, these challenges. The idea is that if I win, I don't die. Yeah. Correct? Yuppers, and why? then why are we both risking our lives? Why? Who cares? We're gonna die anyway someday. Just this just changes the timing a little. <laughs> I'm the supreme leader of evil. I'm used to risking my life. Mm. But you don't do any steel beam walking. <laughs> Of course. What I said was a lie. You used to it at this point. Ah. So then, how about we just do a simple game of rock, paper, scissors? Huh? Rock, paper, scissors? No that all luck? <laughs> <laughs> but that's why it's fun. Should we should good luck at surviving. All right. Okay, here I go. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh. And yeah! Both put out the same uh. thing. I see. Again, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Same again? <laughs> <laughs> now, how long will you prolong your life, Shuichi? Rock, paper, scissors! Huh? Shoot! Shoot! Right. Rock, paper, scissors! Hmm. Shoot! Same again? Hmm. I'm bored now! It's the bajillion time we tied! Shuichi, just please just finish this up! No. It's not really anything I can do! Man. Fine, then we're done for today. Congrats, Shuichi, you're still alive. Oh, yeah, by the way. Did you know there's a way to throw the same thing on purpose in rock, paper, scissors? Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know everything. Is that what Kikichi was doing just now? So that he wouldn't, we, he wouldn't win? What would be the point of that? 
because then because. if the game ends, then it's over, right? You only have two events left. I hate lies and jokes, but I'm lying. So you just have good luck, Shuichi. The same thing a hundred times. Is that just luck? <laughs> Maybe your detective's intuition is getting more precise. Well, you are the ultimate detective. Well, you know. Still, the next time we meet will be your, your last. Enjoy the little time you have left, Shuichi. That really makes you want to bond with me one last time, doesn't it? I bet it does. Okay, what should I give him for his last one? Oh, this is... Oh, my... He's got to like this, right? Rock, paper, scissors cards. A set of cards containing four rocks, four paper, four scissors. If you bet your life in this game, it'd be a thrilling psychological... This is exact... This is just what we did, right? Come on, you've got to like this. If you don't, I swear to God. Oh. Wow, this is nice. Okay, it's the same reaction as before. It's true. This actually might be his love reaction, then. Well, I don't know. Let's see if it... Shuichi. Yeah, all right. So I think it, it, it's like the other games. I, I believe if, if you give someone what they love um, each time, like just like the one thing they really, really love, uh, they'll uh, progress automatically. That's that's good. Okay. I'm glad you came, Shuichi. Remember, today's your last chance, okay? So could you just chipper as usual? Don't know when he's being serious when he's toying with me. Which is all it? All right. Now it's time for the final game. It's this. Ta-da! Whoa, a knife? Are you... What are we doing, the finger thing? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get so antsy. Don't worry, it's only for the game. You know what the knife game is, right? Uh, um, the knife game? What do they call that again? It's where you put your hand on the table and you, you stab around it, right? See? Yep. Place your palm on the table with fingers apart with a knife stabbed between your fingers. Wait. What? What? It's so dangerous. How exciting. Today, this will be today's challenge. This is fitting for the final game, isn't no. it? But this is really dangerous. What if we get hurt? Mm -hmm. Huh? What are you talking about? Switch if you lose. You'll be beyond just injured, you know. You'll die. Kiji's meter has changed. Seems far more serious so now. So that means... I'll make the first move, okay? Kiji spread his fingers on the table and then lifted the knife. I've never seen Kikichi so serious before. Is this what an ultimate supreme leader looks like? All right. I'm ready. Yeah! He's so fast. I can do that. Ow! Oh, fuck! Ow! I cut my pinky! Suichi, I cut my little pinky! Fuck! Ah! Oh. Kikichi! Blood ooze from Kikichi's hand. He's, I sprung into action and grabbed his Wait. wrist. You don't have to keep going. Stop. Stay still. I'll get it. You idiot. Found a nearby first aid kit and clumsily tended Kokichi's cut. And all the while, Kokichi was. Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought I'd be sobbing. <laughs> laughing. Laughing as if we were having the time. He was having the time of his life. Mm. Okay, I think that's good. But what do you Thanks. think? Yeah, it wasn't deep cut, so I'll do. I should treat my injury, Suichi. But, got me. oh man, I lost. Congratulations, Suichi. You win. Uh, um, but I didn't do it yet. I'm still the winner. Maybe. Well, I messed up, so yeah, I guess you win by default. Way to go. This is why it always pays to go second. Plus, I've already fulfilled my objective. Huh? Objective? To kill you, Suichi. But I'm alive. What? I made your heart die with worry, though, didn't huh? I? What? Hey. After I said I'd kill you, I was on your mind the whole time, right? You thought about whether or not I was serious, or why I would say something confusing. Ha, even now, you're concerned about me from the bottom of your heart. <laughs> now you'll never, ever forget me for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. I stole your heart, so now I'm satisfied. I don't need to steal your life anymore. Why? What does that even mean? Why'd you say that? It's a lie. <laughs> because that was a lie. I never wanted your life to begin with. And like I told you from the very beginning, I'm a liar! Nothing to say. Toying with me would be putting it lightly. I don't think there will ever be a come a day when I truly understand Kokichi. Reach out to him, but he doesn't take my hand. But in his own way, I think that helps me understand him a little. I guess. Friendship is deep and... <laughs> yep, that's kind of... Oh, there we go. Bond. True bond. Yes? Yeah, that's kind of how I expected that would go. <laughs> In the end, we, we don't know if we really learn more, much more about him or, or not. Learn a new skill. Kind lie. What? No underpants? 
Should I part ways and return to my room? No! Ah, no! Here you go! Ah! Ah! Oh, Jesus! I'm going commander right now. You know what that means, right? Right? Hey, Suichi, you want to see my dick? No, please. Okay, well, here, enjoy my boxer briefs, all right? If you want to take a whiff, I would be against it. Okay, now you give me your underwear. No, I don't, no. I, I like my underwear. Come on, it's a trade between men, all right? There's nothing gay about it. You just got to give me your underwear, and I'll sniff it too, and then I'll dream about you later. I don't know, it sounds a little gay to me. What are you, homophobic, Suichi? God, get over yourself. You're such a sexy asshole, God. <laughs> so I was expecting, like, I don't know, something more extravagant for him. Like purple undies or like have bombs on them. Pictures oh, of donuts. I don't know. Some weird shit. Nope, just striped boxer shorts. That's it. <laughs> I'm kind of boring underneath, really. Maybe that's, maybe that's the point. Some time left. Well, hey. It gives me, after that, I still got one more chance to hang out with somebody else. Thanks to the odd number of times of, uh, of completing someone. Kokichi's favorite trendy underwear. Being a tease where it can't be seen is what true fashion is all about. Oh, yeah, baby. You know it. Okay, what's uh, what's that skill do? Oh, there it is. Uh, kind lie. Influence drains slower while a live bu bullet is loaded. Effective during non-stop debates. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's kind of nice, because then I can... Uh, less of a pain when I'm trying to look what a, a lie is. Okay, well, now who do I want to go with? I, I should probably go with a girl just to, to balance things out, right? I think we're going to go with An Angie. <laughs> She's funny. Yoo-hoo! What's up, Suichi? Do you need something? Let's hang out. Uh, yep. Okay, I was feeling bored anyway. Spend some time with Angie. I feel we've grown closer. All right, let's give you a gift. Just gotta figure out what you want. I think I have a few art things in here. I've got an art book for, for sketches. Let's try that. So divine. Oh, how divine of you, Suichi. Yeah, <laughs> yeah my cup, th cup runneth over with gratitude. Yeah, I'd say she liked that. Angie, you have an interesting name. Huh? huh? Really? Is my name so strange? No. no, not strange, really. Are you not from here? I... It is rather not really Japanese. Angie lives with the Atua on a divine island paradise. No. Uh, right. But where is the island? What's it so like? Divine. It's a tiny divine island. It used to be much bigger. But Atua used a natural disaster to make it smaller because he thought it would look cuter. That was the reason? Uh, my island has lots of plants and flowers too, you know. Hmm. Is that so? Uh, but most of the plants and flowers on my island like to attack people. Huh? They attack people? I don't know, I don't know. Come to think of it, I'm not honestly not sure if they're actual plants or flowers. Huh? What, what kind of island is this? Well then. What do you think, Shuichi? What kind of place does my island so sound like to you? So answer my question with a question. Come on, come on. If you get it right, Atua will bless you. I wish you divine luck. She's giving me any useful hint, so I guess I just have to guess. A tropical island paradise? God's bathhouse? Castle in the sky? God's bathhouse! Uh, um, God's bathhouse? How divine! Look out, you're being spirited away! <laughs> how divine! Oh, yeah! Wait, was that right? <laughs> uh, yes, in my hometown, we wash ourselves in a co ed bathhouses. Co ed baths are much all more relaxing to me. Let's go in together, Shimichi. No. Wait, no, thank you. I haven't done anything like that before. My heart's not ready. So, where's your hometown, so Angie? Divine. In the middle of the ocean, surrounded by water and nothing else. Solitary island, somewhere far out to but, sea. But... But I get to deep sea deliveries all the time. Huh? Deep sea? As in submarines? Yeah. yeah. Deep sea is a ship shipping website. They have all kinds of stuff. It's super convenient. Uh, um... Ah, that's what you meant. Yoo-hoo! I don't know what you thought I meant, but I use deep sea all the time. I bet deep sea is an instrument of a tour, because it made life on my island a divine experience. Hmm. Tua sound works in mysterious ways, I suppose. Of course, of course. Deep sea is how I get new issues of my favorite magazines. Uh, and food, clothing, organ meat. How divine. Plus medicine, blood, and even children. Wait. Wait, are you serious? Some of that stuff is a little crazy. Uh -huh. Mm, how so? If it can be shipped, then Deep Sea definitely stocks it. But, but... Now, if they just stock offerings and oop arts, that would be so divine. What exactly goes on on Angie's Island? Why didn't the demon lord are you talking about? With only a slightly better understanding of Angie's Island, I return to my room. Hey, you know what? Just for the sake of keeping things even, I'll go ahead and do Angie's, too. Oh! That flashlight was a flashback light. So divine! 
A life that restores memory is simply divine. I bet the two I had a hand in its creation. Sure, of course it is. Then let us pray to Atua and thank him for restoring our memories. Spend some time watching it, Angie. Pray to Atua. <laughs> We're bonding, I guess. Jack grew a little closer. All right, well that seemed to work pretty well, so I'll just give her another one of those drawing pads. Yay! <laughs> this is it. This is what I've been after. How did you know, Shuichi? Did Atua speak to you? <laughs> yeah! Good job, Shuichi. Yoo-hoo! Hey, hey! Hey, hey! <coughs> Suichi, I need your help okay. with something. I'd be happy to help. Yay, thank you! Now then, I want you to help me look for something. Leave it to me. That shouldn't be a problem. What are you looking uh, for? Yep. A sickle! Huh? A sickle? Yup, yup! Yeah, a sickle! You know, crescent-shaped blade? Wooden handle? Cut stuff easily? Uh, stuff easily? Um... What are you gonna do with that? Mow the lawn? It's not right! Yeah! No, silly! I'm gonna stab it into my window! Huh? Uh, the window? Uh, yep. On my island, if you feel sad and lonely at night, you stab a sickle into your window. That's an odd custom. Then, uh, anyone who sees it can't just ignore it. They go counsel them that, that person. They gotta do anything they can, can to counsel them. And I do mean anything. That's frightening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever I'm feeling sad, I gotta have a sickle ready. You're right. I see. Well, if you ever need anything else. Uh, anything else? Mm, nothing else comes to mind. How divine! You're so nice, Shuichi. I bet you'll come when I counsel when I stick my, stab my huh? sickle. Uh, me? Yeah. I want to be counseled by you! Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I see. Oh, yeah. I'll teach you all of my island's customs, Shuichi. You can't do that. First, you're not allowed to feed children after midnight. I've heard of a creature like that somewhere before. <laughs> uh, it means, uh, uh, was it called creature? It was, like, it was that little funny thing you feed him and he turns into like some horrible thing if you feed him after midnight. Come on, come on! But normally he's just cute looking. Cause it's unhealthy! They won't grow up to be stable adults! Ah, uh, alright. That sounds reasonable. And, then... and they have to undergo a divine initiation ritual before they can enter adulthood. A ritual? Like a coming of age ceremony? Oh, divine. During the ritual we perform intense physical workouts. They all become adults at the same time and feel happy and relaxed huh? afterward. What? How divine! I haven't undergone my ritual yet, but I hear it's a divine experience. Hmm. I see. Happy and relaxed, huh? Of course, of course! That, that's right! On my island, everyone shares in our happy, fun, happy times. At weddings, for example, after the bride and groom consummate the vows, the guests make their own vows, and then they consummate those too. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Everyone? Be to Atua. After a successful consummation, the bride is blessed with a baby. And everyone else has babies too! Of course, we all share the baby too! Oh! oh. Using a sickle! What? Huh? What What the hell are you gonna do with that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Just kidding! We get you a baby! We just share the bride! Are you talking about cutting a baby up? Huh? W what does that mean? Sounds like such a strange traditions. Oh, uh, we all fucked the bride! Yay! See, does she just seem like she's just kind of crazy? Like, I, I could totally see her killing somebody at some point, you know? Talking of chopping babies and offering blood sacrifices, I just, I would not be surprised. You know, because Atua said so, he told me to slay all the infidels. Yeah, that's kind of where I think that's going. More questions than answers, I return to my room. I've learned nothing at all. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, sorry, did I interrupt you in the middle of something? <laughs> and he was making brushstrokes against a canvas, accentuating each with a sexy moan. So like a woman possessed. Is it being puppeted? Jeez. Mm. Uh, um, a Angie? Huh? Are you okay? Are you okay? You look like you were hypnotized or something. I was worried. I'm okay. Atua came down from the heavens and filled me with his holy presence. All of my work is created in this manner. a surprise! Oh! <laughs> but I'm surprised. Atua doesn't usually doesn't come down in front of others, you know. Maybe Atua revealed himself because you're, you're a chosen one. Hmm? I was chosen? Hey, hey, Shuichi, look at this picture. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Cautiously glanced at the painting Angie just finished. Uh! 
In an instant, I felt my felt my consciousness slip away, like a candle blown out by the wind. <laughs> Was that you and I fucking? <laughs> Hello, Shuichi, are you okay? Are you still with me? Sorry. Y yes, sorry. But like, I lost consciousness for a minute. It'll be okay. It's okay, I don't run. This sort of thing happens every now and then. It happens every now and then? Does it? Archer is difficult to understand. Is this just a normal painting? Is this the power of an ultimate? That's... This is the power of an ultimate? Mm -hmm. With the power of an ultimate? What do you uh, mean? Um... Well, your art is... Not normal. Get punished. <laughs> I don't like you right now, Shuichi. Atua's mad at you too, understand? No. Ah! Oh no. Never forget that Atua is always watching you. But but Still it's rather it's rather strange you fainted when Atua um, chose you. What exactly does chosen mean? How divine! It means you were chosen. Well, yeah. I see, I see. Still I think you're somewhat lacking. You're not quite divine enough. Atua agrees uh, too. Um not divine enough. As Atua is watching over us. Very well. By Atua's divine decree, your training begins today. Reading ear to ear, Angie skipped over to me and. Uh. Whoa! Oh, me, oh my. Huh? Why are you reading, Shuichi? No. You grabbed me all of a sudden, and you tried to take my clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. How else would I provide what you're lacking? It'll be okay. I think I'm okay. Thanks anyway. Because Atua says so. Why are you afraid? I know. Atua and I will gently embrace you. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey. What does that mean? What are you going to do? Huh? Wait. I just want to talk, Angie. Just be friends. Ah. Oh. Uh, sorry for yelling. I just, I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. I never, I never touched another girl before. But. Well, that kind of touched me that one time, and ever since then, I've been super confused. I'm just worried about you. Uh, Angie. Oh, she just walked away. Uh-oh. She took off in a sprint and I couldn't catch her. This is bad. But she's really mad at me. I just wanted to fuck you, Shuichi. Oh, okay. Well, why didn't you say so? Well, I'm all out of the sketchbook. I gotta find something else. Oh, here we go. We got a bray. A size adjustable bray. It's a pretty popular hat that lets you feel trendy and somewhat artistic. That's got art artistic in there. Divine. Oh, how divine of you! <laughs> oh, good. I know I yelled at Angie the other day, but I wasn't mad at her. I was mad at her weird, horny god! I need to apologize. She'll probably turn me down, but... Yeah Yahoo! I wonder what we'll get up to today, Shuichi. Well, she'd be too mad to even speak to me, but she's not even act any different. Alright, time to apologize. Sorry. Angie, I'm sorry that I yelled at you before. Why? Huh? Are you apologizing? It'll be okay. I'm over what happened. Even Atua uh -huh. forgives you. Uh, Atua of did? Of course, of course. Yep. Uh, um. uh, what about you, Angie? Are you mad Why? at me? Why? My feelings don't matter. Atua has forgiven you, so it's fine. A hey, Angie, what is Atua? Atua? Atua is God, and God is Atua. Atua is love, Atua is life. He is always with Angie. Yeah! Yeah! How divine! No. Right, but. Uh, do you want to know more about Atua Shuichi? It's okay, I'll teach you. But only you, okay? Smiling even wider than usual, Angie s sidled up to me and spoke in a uh, low whisper. The truth is, my works are divine messages from Atua. Huh? Divine yeah, messages? Yeah. As an oracle, only I can receive Atua's divine hmm. messages. An oracle? She definitely does look possessed when she's making her art. Could I... it be? That's why it's my duty to tell everyone on my island about Atua's teachings. Atua's words are absolute, so everyone listens to anything I say. Huh? Anything? Of course, of course. Anything. One time Atua suddenly told me to throw a big festival. Everyone on the island attended, and we all partied we all week long. It was so much fun, but since no one worked for a week, it kind of messed up our lives. But, <laughs> but Atua told me to do it, so that's that. Atua gets lonely pretty easily. Yeah! I... I don't think so. I think Angie's the lonely one. Oh. Angie believes that Atua's will is her will. That means that everyone will listen to her. But that means Atua will that means Atua will take care of everything. But that's not Yoo right. Hey hey, Shuichi, what's up? What you thinking? Ah, uh, uh, too close. Because yes. I want you to focus on me. 
Wow, I can see myself in your eyes. Ooh. Wait. Hey, Angie, back up a little. Why? What? Why? 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 Uh, um, what do you mean, why? You're really close to me, Angie. Oh, divine. I don't mind. I want to be closer to you. Yeah. <laughs> now you're closer to me. Hmm. I don't mind being emotionally closer to you, but can you scoot back a bit? I wish to make love to you, Shuichi. I'm still not over Kaede. Spend some time getting close and get, get being close and getting closer to Angie. <laughs> yeah. I, oh shit. She says something there. I, it roll. It, it it was so seamless into the uh, her happy gift thing. I didn't notice. Yay! I'm I'm with Shuichi again. Happy, happy me me. Yeah. Yeah. Happy. I've just been pretty happy lately. I wonder Yoo why. Hey, hey, Shuichi. Guess what? I got a present for you today. It's my underpants! Because I don't have underpants, so it's just going to be my, my, my bikini bottom! Ah, it's the one you're wearing right now! Yes, it's what we'll do with me if that's at the social link, right? Yeah, but, uh, can you use me your spare ones or something? But these are the only pair I have, Suichi! Oh, wow, okay, you're kind of Brazilian, aren't you? I am part Brazilian! How did you know? No, that's not what I, uh... No, I... Uh, never mind. And you pulled out what looked like a small, small board covered come in on, fabric. Come on, come on! Here, you unwrap the cloth, okay? Slowly, gently. I wrapped the cloth carefully, just she said, and saw a canvas about the size of my palm. And on that hmm. canvas... You made this right, Angie? What's it up? Oh, me, oh my. Huh? You don't recognize it? It's your face, silly! Huh? Th this is me? Not only does it not look like me, it doesn't even look human. Yeah. Yup, yup, I want you to have it. Okay. Ah, uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you don't faint when you see my pictures anymore. Yay! Yay! I'm so happy I've gotten closer with you. Hmm. Now that you mention it, that is true. Perhaps I've just gotten used That's to it. That's not right. No, Shuichi. You were chosen by a tour. And now you're ready to be Angie's husband. Isn't it wonderful? Uh, huh? uh, husband? Where is this a coming from? A, a tour has spoken. Shuichi can be with Angie forever. Making sweet, sexy love in that weird hotel down the road. A Angie, does the tour decide everything for you? Even your own husband? Uh, hmm? Well, the truth is, maybe I want you to be my husband. Oh! <laughs> what? Because. Because I really do want to be with you forever. Does this mean I chose you, not a tour? You confessing your love? This is getting kind of heavy. I can't do it! Uh, Are you conf um, confessing your love? Huh? Confession? No. Uh, yeah, because you clearly like me and all. <laughs> ah. Oh, I see, I see. Is that all? You just want to know if I like you too. Okay, I do. There, it's decided. <laughs> <laughs> but choosing a husband is an important decision. You need to think about it more. Why? Why'd you pick me? I'm just an ordinary guy compared to no, you. No, no. But you're not ordinary. The first, my first time was with you. Huh? Whoa, wait. What do you mean, first time? Did we do it and I didn't even realize it? I... You're the first one to ever get angry, angry at me. Oh. Since that moment, I haven't been able to stop thinking about you. I just think about you all the time. Ah, oh, I see. I suppose Angie never got scolded before. After all, in her home island, her words were the, wor were the words of a Tua. Of course, it, if Angie admits that she got mad at me, mad at me, it must mean that those are her genuine feelings, not a Tua. That's good. It's a little strange, but there's definitely a bond between us now. Yeah, of course. Still the matter hey, of- Shuichi, will you be my husband and stay with me forever? Nah. <laughs> we aren't that close yet. I can't be your husband. Oh, yes we are. You come here, mister. This program's been updated. We've learned a new skill. A two is a tuition. All right, cool. Ah, good. So I'm gonna dodge Andy's proposal and return to my room. But not before you receive my undergarments! Oh, it is! Woohoo! It is! Oh, it, it is! It's just her. It's her, uh, bikini bottom! Ah, oh, God! Ah, uh, Brazilian, ah! Uh. Alright, managed to max out two people this video. I think we did good, guys. We did good. Heh! <laughs> Beep. This is an official announcement. Official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 10 p.m. For now. Everyone is out now on work duty. Bedtime, Ursine. Bedtime. Hmm. Angie's favorite bikini bottom. It's not. Her, it's not her underwear. 
It's totally fine if it peeks out a little. <laughs> oh, 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 you mean like out from under her skirt. <laughs> I gotcha. I thought you meant something else. Uh, to his intuition, the flashbot will in instantly grow to full size, effective during Hangman's Gambit version 3.0. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to end it here for now. Anyway, like if you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe now, become a Peaky Penguin aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.